I'm going to walk you through getting set up to do uh, the trig exam review. I'm going to do a solution for each of the questions and we'll, we'll have those over posted in Canvas. And um, <coughs> I highly recommend going through each of the videos or at least each of the work through each of the uh, questions, uh, the ones you uh, need more understanding with. Work again, view the video, um, and provide me with feedback. Uh, what's understandable and what's not quite making sense yet. Uh, and then that way I can make uh, maybe alternate videos of an alternate explanation that might be more helpful. Um, so the idea is we start from nothing and we build something. Uh, so again, I, I really thank all of those uh, that that showed up today. Uh, your your presence was, uh, in fact, almost brought me to tears. <laughs> I opened up the window and there's so many people there. I go, wow. Uh, anyway, thank you. And uh, also throughout the review process, thank you for uh, the good feedback you've provided me and I'm going to apply it and let's, let's see if uh, uh, I can do something helpful. So we're gonna switch over to this screen so the, to do the uh, trig exam review, you come to Alex. So you get there through uh, Canvas. Once we're here, you may see a tab that says do the review. Uh, obviously trigonometry exam, we, we don't want to do that yet. So you can click on these, uh, these three horizontal lines that gives you the sort of drop down menu. We can go to assignments and there's the review for trigonometry exam. You can do this unlimited times. Notice I've already been in four times. I really haven't done much, but uh, here it is. You can start it. Once you do start it, you will not be able to do anything else in Alex until you submit it. But as you go through, you can submit. It will score it. It will tell you what you got right, what you got wrong. And then you can start it again, and it will allow you to do a quick start with only the ones that you missed. Keep doing that till you get them all 100%. And then if you'd like, you could start it again. Um, there is no grade. This does not affect your grade positively or negatively directly, but doing it many times, getting it to 100%, it will affect how you do on the exam. And that is a huge part of your grade, what, 35%, something like that, right? So we're gonna go ahead and start. Uh, I'm going to make separate videos for each of the questions. Some of them will be short. Some of them, of course, are going to be longer. There might be alternate. There might be two videos for some of them with alternate ways, but I want to make them easily accessible. So I'm going to stop this video here. I'm going to come back and I'll start with video one for the question number one. Um, and again, I'm going to be posting each of these into my YouTube channel and so you might want to subscribe if you're doing this live while I'm posting, uh, then you'll see the updates. Otherwise, uh, it's fine. You can see when it's all done. I'll have it all in Canvas as well. Um, notice I have here my trigonometry exam formula sheet. Uh, I went through, there's a video on how to complete the template down here. Remember, you bring it into the exam blank. This is just a template. Uh, at the start of the exam, you put in here what you remember, and uh, that's why you need to practice this. So watch that video. It's about 30 minutes. But remember, you can watch it double speed. So in 15 minutes, you uh, you can get it all done. And, and I think with a little bit of practice, you'll be able to create this in less than five minutes. And it will give you a nice mental template to work from as you do the exam. I also explained how I uh, you know, put in these from memory. And then we've got all of these. So I'm going to be using this uh, exam formula sheet as I go through them to highlight this, just like I would encourage you to do. Uh, you might want to have this as a printed sheet next to you as you work through it. Um, and what you will do is you'll see this is going to give you the same experience as going through the exam. The exam is the same setup uh, in Alex. It's the same, uh, I don't know what they call these, but uh, tool. Uh, so the only difference is uh, with the exam, you get to only do it once, but you'll be able to see that there's there'll be 20 questions in the exam. 
in the review we've got 39 so we got more to go through we will go through it all but they every one of these questions will help you understand the exam deeply and so as you understand uh, more and more of these you will be building that confidence to do well on the exam okay so let me without further ado let me say I wish you the best of success as you prepare and take the trigonometry exam and contact me work with me uh, let me know what would be more helpful we'll we'll make it work we'll make success for both of us uh, and we'll also be setting up good resources for future courses so uh, i thank you for helping me pioneer this this course review uh, this course revision and um yeah let's see i gotta stop this right i gotta stop stop recording all this technology stuff anyway thank you guys look for video number one here soon